these rumors or whoever generated them is completely mistaken. I was the first minister to welcome the production and the addition of shale oil to the world in 2008-2009. Why? In Washington. Okay. Why? Because it would give better stability and assurance to the world that peak oil is a theory now that it's dead, but at that time, peak oil was a big deal. But we've moved in the opposite direction now. Right. So is this price around $60 a barrel healthy for long-term investment? Some would argue it's not, but Saudi Arabia and others get to hold on to their market share. No, no. Saudi Arabia, you know, <laughs> we are going to continue to produce what we are producing. We are going to continue to welcome additional production. If customers come and ask for it, but there is no effort against anyone in the international oil market. There are no conspiracies against any country. And I have, that's what I said in my speech. I wish somebody will take that translation and use it. It's being translated. Final point, if non-OPEC producers come forward and offer cuts at this stage, would OPEC step up to the table and do the same? Or are you happy think, to leave production I, I, where it is? I think it's too late now. And why do you say that? If they want to cut production, they are welcome. We are not going to cut. Certainly Saudi Arabia is not going to cut. And this is a position you'll hold for what, the first six months of 2015? This is a position we'll hold forever, not to this minute.